Uh, welcome to Ver Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I got special guests in the house tonight, and you heard these uh, voices before discussing different topics. We're uniting once again because we're still on that theme of coming to a common ground between us as a people as a whole. And when I say us as a people, I'm talking about melanated people, no matter what you may call yourself. I got brother Low Key in the house. What's up, Low Key? Yo, what's up, Black? Man, he's saying thanks, man. I got young Pruitt in the house, man. What's up, Pruitt? My brother, my brother. Oh man, definitely, man. But first off, since it's, been, it's a hot topic, Trump called it locker room talk, and we might get a little explicit on this uh, podcast, and and we'll uh, notate that it that it does contain some explicit 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 lyrics. But uh, basically, Trump was saying that some of these celebrity parties that you can walk up, you grab them by the couch, and he said, you know, grab them by the vagina. They they at the party. That's his, uh, you know, pussy for the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? He finna yeah. go smash and, yeah. you know. And then uh, supposedly Back one his friend's wife came in and he was talking like, man, I like to have that and. Mm -hmm. You know, and and the thing, but when you when you when they was back in the day, when we talked about the Illuminati and the celebrity parties and how they would get down in these parties and do certain rituals. I'm thinking, are they upset at Trump for exposing what goes actually goes on behind closed doors in they celebrity parties? But we all know what goes on because you had certain celebrities like uh, Dick Gregory said that some of the most filthiest people on the planet are celebrities mm -hmm. or entertainers and, and and you know some of these sports figures. He was saying mm -hmm. some of the stuff they that they have to do. Uh, so uh, over the years, and you see people put up different. Uh, Post and YouTube videos dealing with uh, the Illuminati, or they might have Bohemian Grove and sex rituals and what goes on at the Playboy Mansion and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Is this just? Uh, do you feel like the reason why they own Trump so hard is, is the fact that he's running for president and he shouldn't say these things, or is he exposing uh, what's hidden, you know, behind closed doors? I think it's a little backlash for coming from both sides. Because you have some people who supporting them, and like you say, they really don't want that type of noise to get out. They know right. what's going on, they just don't want to get out. And then you have the other side who, or somebody like me who might even say, hey, I want to hear it. You know, right. if that's what's going on, right or wrong, I want to know. So let, let, Let's do it. Yeah, yeah most put, definitely. It, put it out. Most definitely. Put it out. You know, we, yeah, we in a time period, man, to where put the knowledge out on the table and people are mature enough mm -hmm. to know, to grab what's positive and leave what's negative alone. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and on, on that note, you you have the sisters, or you had, let's say, uh, what they quote-unquote call what was beautiful uh, or what was the, the picture of a beautiful woman in America. And back in the day, you would have women complain that, in the magazines, let's say the the doll before they was putting the black Barbie doll out. Uh, some of these movies, the white standard of beauty was what was always put in the forefront. Mm -hmm. What everybody seen, you know what I mean? So, but now here come Trump. He's he's saying, hey, these celebrities, y'all holding them to a high standard, high but we standard. treating them like they, you know, exactly. we grabbing them by the crotch, we, mm -hmm. you know, we treating them in the the way that. Uh, uh, this is how it goes down, and right. he, he say at these parties, but I guess in some instance you have people that still want to hold on to that false image of uh, what beauty is. Mm -hmm. and, they, you know. and he's exposing their politics. Mm -hmm. Exposing. Exposing, yeah. Yeah, definitely. He, and they don't like that fact. Uh, mm -hmm. Some don't. But for us, even within how he... Um, with his taxes or whatnot, and he tell you certain foreclosure laws or certain rules or whatnot that we wasn't privy to that information. He's saying, hey, we take this loophole, we move money over here. Mm -hmm. We, You know, at one time when, when blacks did start understanding or using uh, foreclosure or bankruptcy to their advantage, they want to change the rules. want to change the rules, like a lot of stuff, the housing agencies and a lot of stuff like that too, so... Uh, definitely, we, you know, but how can we be on an equal playing field if you got one set of rules for one group and you got a different set of rules? We got to close close that gap. Close that gap. But because but, it's dealing with economics. Right. 
and economics has no um, no privy to race in a sense because a, 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 a medium of exchange has been a system in place since uh, in the ancient time, mm-hmm. our way border had mm-hmm. some type of uh, monetary value that they used, whether to buy or you know a hold of some type of standard, you know throughout the culture that they use as a means of trade. Mm-hmm. You know, I give you this silver gold certificate for the amount of gold you, that mm-hmm. you actually had in, in your, uh, your, your, your your the bank or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So dealing with this current election, you know. And all of the, the the racial separation and going back to Colin Kaepernick and taking the knee. And now you see high school students, yeah, you, you see uh, junior high uh, school students that's also getting involved. Uh, people are starting to get educated on um, uh, on that third verse, that third verse. Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. But but low key on that, she made a statement that there were Moors. Uh, well, not Moors, but she said that there were Muslims. Mm-hmm. In America, uh, at the time of George Washington, right? Uh, can you expound on what, what what is she saying in that sense? Well, she's saying that our people was here and we've been here, and they know that, you know. So it's just a matter of this not being something that's a part of the public education curriculum, you know, because. One of the things, you know, um, that was a part of the business plan, and the, which, you know, was a part of the agenda, was for us to make sure that we don't, that, that we don't know that we've been here at least 50,000 years. African people, our people have been here. We're the original indigenous people of this particular soil, you know. So just being the information age, you know, people are starting to get more privy to this particular type of knowledge. Well, it is interesting, though. Young Pruitt, the fact that here's a presidential candidate, and she makes a statement about Muslims being here uh, since the time of George Washington. So that means that people are going to start doing their research. Sure, what, what, yeah. what does she mean by that? Mm-hmm. You know, what's what's the proof? You know, yeah. and they start getting back into. Morocco. Right. Mm-hmm. They right. start getting back into some treaties that were signed. Mm-hmm. Right. You right. know what I mean? They right. The Moroccan uh, Treaty of Peace and Friendship, yeah. 1786. 1786. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gave know. them permission to do trade on this particular soil. <laughs> gave the United, you know, gave this particular branch of global European business to do business on this particular mm-hmm. soil that they had jurisdiction over. And that's coming out of Morocco. Right, which is African people, our people, our descendants, we are Moors. You know, we are indigenous people, regardless of what nationality that you choose, because it's all in our DNA, we're talking about we're talking about our people, people of African descent. So, so but I, I want to get to uh, how important just that, that, that what you said to a people who, you know, they've been hitting around at this for for years. They yeah, hit yeah, it yeah. around at it in, in roots in mm-hmm. the sense. Even yeah, with Obama. Obama a little bit, so. Even yeah. Obama. Yeah, you know, yeah. Barack Hussein, when they talked about Barack, but they... They called they, him a silver tongue more. Yeah. 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 European Come press on. came out called him a silver yeah. tongue more. Yeah. They even, they had uh, Abraham Lincoln... <laughs> They had him as the Moor, right? As Abraham Lincoln, right? Because right. his his uh, but his mom uh, think came from a tribe out of Ethiopia. Okay, yeah, I mean, something like that. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. That's why the Penny Brown. Yeah, yeah. and it's the only one facing the opposite direction from all the other coins. You know, all the, all the one facing the opposite direction. <laughs> See how they do it, <laughs> man. They do it. Man. And they up in and turn them that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Would it be that right there to where they kind of, I don't know if it be disrespect or just kind of trying to slide something out there, but that be the type of whistleblower or whatever. It, it, it's a hint to, to you telling on yourself. That's right. Kind of yeah. like what he do with Trump. Well, they, they problem with Trump. He talking, trying to engage and get people to vote. But after a while, you're going to tell on yourself, man. Right. you tell it. Right. The truth is the truth. That's it, a fact. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. It's coming out. Yeah. So now, and so with that, then now you can start getting into, by her making that statement, you can start getting into jurisdictions and sovereignty. You can mm-hmm. talk about the the uh, the flag before the American flag. Yeah. You can talk about Tallahassee. Mm-hmm. You can talk about uh, Memphis. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
the Native Americans said that Memphis was Memphis when they before when they got here. Exactly. Yeah, they yeah, told the right. Europeans you can't change uh, Memphis, Memphis because they got a law of Memphis in Egypt right. called Memphis. That was Memphis. That's right. Making a connection, so right. now we we understand and 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 these are things uh, that you may know of people that people put out. Uh, they were saying uh, anywhere where you see the term Salem, uh, you know, uh, in Boston or uh, Carolina, uh, they were saying that that's where they had section off the Moors and they gave them uh, and they named it Salem for oh, Salem. Oh, okay. Uh, and there was a tribe to this day, man, and they left the Carolinas and some went to Germany, but it was all Moorish tribe. Not Monrovia in uh, Liberia, but uh, right here in the Americas. Moor, it was not the Moabites, which Moors too. Mm-hmm. But, oh man, I gotta think of that name, bruh. The uh, stars with an M. You're talking about some Moors that were here? That were here. The, the Malian Moors were here. Malian, one particular group of Moors that was here. Malian Moors. Uh, uh, I, cause I, cause I wanna, I wanna see if we can draw a correlation with the Seminoles, mm-hmm. because I did read. Now I read about the, the Cherokee, and when they signed the treaty with America, I think that was 1789. Mm-hmm. They the names on that treaty were uh, Mahmoud, mm-hmm. Abdul, Muhammad mm-hmm. was named that was actually signed on that treaty mm-hmm. with America, mm-hmm. but. You had the the Seminoles, Black Tribe, mm-hmm. the Blackfoot. Then you had a shipwrecked in Galveston, Estevans. Uh, he knew Arabic, and some of the natives knew Arabic, and that's why they didn't kill him because he was the guy who committed with some white on the ship as well. Right. Okay, so when you bring that down to the the Seminoles, the Blackfoot, the the what they call the Black Native Americans or the Native American with the melanin. And then the Moors, you know, that were already here, uh, that spoke, whether we say Arabic, Mm -hmm. they communicated, but and they um, would would mix in or whatever, blend in, you know, create families or whatnot. But how did they too wind up in slavery? Did they come? Because at one time you had the the Sundry Act where. The you had free free men, mm-hmm. which was the fruit. The Moors mm-hmm. you had blacks that were free. They, you had got, black caught, they got caught up in the wars. The Indians and that particular sun drag, you know, those brothers came out and said, "Well, we're Moors and we're tied to Morocco." Right. So they were actually, <clears throat> when it came to their uh, political status, their classification, they weren't classified as being Negroes or black. They were classified as being Moors. So they had a different status, and that's what the sun drag of 1790 is all about. Okay. Okay. You know? But, okay. You know, so it's it's just it actually reminds me of like <laughs> when uh you know the times that I've been to jail and you had them brothers that they go in there for little petty charges and they be just sitting there for weeks, months, <laughs> yeah. and don't say nothing, don't say nothing to the COs and they right. just sitting up in the slave trade just right. behind bars and I'm steady hollering out, say man, I'm a yeah. I'm more get me up out of here, man, right. I'm a more what's going and I'm out of there right. and I'm talking deuce to them like love, but I'm a to at you. So it's that kind of thing of where. You have some people that was caught up in the wars, you know, the quote-unquote slave trade, and they may not necessarily have known or had the knowledge to be able to step up and be able to get into a different classification to be able to start building on their resources and get caught, get out of that okay. particular uh, uh, slavery or that uh, that brutal servitude that they was caught up under. Okay, you know? right. Using whatever they can get their hands on in order to get out of that mm. that type of status, you know. So that they said that they didn't they 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 didn't have the unity to build an economic base right. to That's to it. do trade. That's it. With and they could have their particular tribes could have got ran through. And the fact that those Moors were able to contact you know say well our connection is to Morocco. The Europeans didn't want to mess with that because, right. and that's what's so key about our people is us having global alliances. Right. That way, you know, it's not so quick. People are always worried about Black Wall Street and these particular incidents that happen where we had our civilization. Well, that's why you got to have global allies. Got you know. Man. So you know, I know we're gonna be building on the African Union coming up. You know. Yeah, we. <laughs> it's, it's time for it, man. It's yeah. it's, it's time for. Unity, but a type of unity where I mean, I and I, you know, 
in Houston, let's say Houston. Mm -hmm. They say Houston one of the most diverse cities in America. Facts. 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 Okay. So that means that we doing business with every everybody. Facts. On a sound small scale. Right. Mm -hmm. right. 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 Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Right. okay. So then that's just a a model of what could be done on a global scale. Facts. Because uh, you have people, but put it like this. Black people are the only race in America where their money stay 100% right here in America. Mm -hmm. Hispanics, Mexico, they go send their money like Mexico, mm -hmm. from the Philippines, throw back to mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But the the African and the other melanated people that's in America, then they send their money back. So, so that means Brazil. 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 Trade and they understand their resources mm -hmm. going to every place that they're at on the planet. Yeah. So why we can't? Okay. So that means we the bank then, because I'm gonna go nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So why don't the bank say, okay, well look, man, uh, we'll take these products and we'll send them to say Brazil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Send the t-shirts, whatever. Mm -hmm. We work out a deal. Manufacture them, send them up here. Y'all can manufacture them over there, send them up here. Mm -hmm. And we, we create a need for it, you right. know? Mm -hmm. And right. we keep building. We right. keep and building. We got, yeah. and we got African brothers and sisters right here in this diverse city that we can start doing trade with. And they're, through their connection, we start doing trade with their global connections. How mm -hmm. they, you know, yeah. and that's politics. That's politics, and it could be done. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we have to we, we, we gotta look into that. We gotta make that happen because I noticed I noticed, you know, some of my Asian friends, they do that with their family. Mm -hmm. And it'd be yeah. smooth, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But for yeah. some reason, man, it's just something in the back of your mind be thinking, damn man, we start doing trade with each other, somebody coming, we're gonna have to deal with uh Somebody that don't want to see us successful, oh, yeah, like, well, like we not allowed Some to. Some type of sabotage or in the yeah. in the mix, and it shouldn't be that way, you know. Yeah. It, 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 we that that's that's the whole purpose of why we say that there's uh, that, that we need justice or we need equal playing field because within our I don't know if it's through the DNA or through the slave experience here in America, when whenever we make a forward progression. In the subconscious, you know, it's like you kind of feel you have to fight for every inch, right? You know, versus other nationalities mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. We paying taxes. Mm -hmm. right. We should, in our mind, feel free to be or do. Yeah. You know what I mean? What whatever to go, I put on our heart to do without exactly. without feeling as though it's some punishment or, or uh, you know, we finna be under fine tooth comb. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Our standards, our codes. Uh, you open up a barbershop, man, they chicken you day and night, make sure everything mm -hmm. is up to code. They, mm -hmm. You know, and we saying, wait a minute, man, I've been here for so long. You don't do that to the dude, you know, down the block. Mm -hmm. I rally at this place. And then they say, well, quick complaining, you know what I mean? So, so it's just no, uh, that's what uh, equal or being equal, you it's, know, it's equal racist. protection up under the law. That's true racism when they plot against you like that. Most people call racism. I don't like you because you're this color or that color. And racism is when you're stopping somebody from doing something. That's, like that. that's it. it. You got to have the power or the resources to be able to deprive or deny another group exactly. those same privileges. They, you don't got it, you, it, can't, you, can't actually, yeah. you can't actually be engaged in racism if you don't. If you can't deprive or deny another group of those, right. those particular you, privileges. You don't have the power have to the be power. a racist. You know what I mean? You, yeah, we don't have the power to uh, be racist. We can't say you can't move in this community or you can't bank here or we're we not going to hire you because you white. We don't have that kind of... Right. We ain't in that position to, you know what I mean, block somebody for uh, progression. Right. Well, I wanted to add this little piece, Black, is that, you know, these particular nations that are unified, you know, that have these particular alliances... Whenever you're doing trading, you're doing business with a nation that gives them incentive to be allied with you. Okay, you know, right. so right. you know when we're talking about trade and getting with you know African brothers and sisters right here, that's the that's the steps that and and, and it's already happening. You know, we're just saying you know putting the message out that more of our people need to engage right. in business mm -hmm. right. with our with our own people of different nationalities right. because these are how alliances are set up. It's right. that simple. Start it's doing that. business with them. Give them an incentive yeah. Yeah. to want to be allied yeah. with you. But, but it's that it's that lion in the cage. 
it's the you know that that perimeter that they put over that line. And he walked that same perimeter for years, but when they removed the cage, he still was he walking still that, it. like he had a dividing it. line. That's it. And back his That's you it. know you fear. that fear yeah. mm-hmm. is it, and it, that familiarity. Yeah. Of being in that box, that being cage. in that, box, yeah. in that yeah. cage, yeah. and get used to being in that cage. But you right when it, when it, this big fields out there, you can get out, go explore and, and build. Yeah. But you right is if we gotta break those invisible lines. Mm-hmm. You know that's 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 keeping us boxed in. Mm-hmm. And some of those invisible lines, you might have family members, you might have friends mm-hmm. that might say, oh, "You can't. Why you over there? Do you can't do so and so?" But if you put your mathematics together and you got a sound plan, then you go for it, mm-hmm. you know? Especially if you got a good example. Most of the examples they give us are athletes or entertainers or yeah. this or that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the right examples of that person or you've seen somebody do it. It kind of, like you said, some more is new, some more is didn't know back then. Mm-hmm. They got screwed over, lost in the process. Right. Right. So you got that right. example of a person, it kind of give you a little more confidence to go do it or... It give you, you know, the guidelines that kind of go by. So that's right. right. That's right. right so man. when you, you have can... like a, a a brother polite out there, you know, in regards how people feel about anybody politics, yeah. you got a Dr. Umar out there, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. getting on these platforms, you know, red pill, blue pill, mm-hmm. brother panic, brother mm-hmm. Bobby, Dr. Ali El Bay, you know, Dr. Ali Muhammad, you know, like. On. These people, uh, Sonetta, you know, right. Baba, Baba That's TV, right. Every Time Fire, you know That's what I right. mean? Like, mm-hmm. Sankofa, you know, yeah. like, we out mm-hmm. here, man, we you know, out. so now, you know, these people have been on some of the most popular platforms, you know, on the planet, right? you know, so now it ain't no excuse. Now you done seen it, so right. now it's time to get down to business, you know, right. our people, they say they're all about money. Well, it's here it is, it's right. because we know that what we've been doing prior hasn't been working. Nope. So now that something new is coming in, need to latch on to that because, you know, this is an opportunity to be able to capitalize on what's going on. I, but that's because I feel, and I might be wrong, but the conscious community don't want to take the lead. Mm-hmm. You still talking about uh, Ray Ray, and you still talking mm-hmm. about, you know, what's going down in uh, this beef between... Uh, oh, the game and this yeah, world, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, what the, yeah, right. the hell yeah. yeah. who cares don't about at all? At all. <laughs> who cares about that, yeah, bro? Exactly, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> when we should be focusing on building, you know, you you talking about uh, who got shot at the club or right. the ladies? Who the heck right. is the damn yeah, man? We yeah. trying to build a nation, right. you know? We build right. it's all distractions. It's all distractions. Exactly. I mean, it, it was like in 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 school. The one, the one that got else got the most attention. The one that got A's, yeah. man. Everybody <laughs> looking. Yeah, you ain't, you, you know, get on out the way. He's like, man, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. studying all day and night trying to get it. Ain't nobody paying up. Yeah, right. Dude ain't even opened up the book, man. Right. Hey, you know, you know what yeah. I mean. It was, yeah. You know yeah, that he, he old, old he man. He, he old. I, you, man, you couldn't get a man. I'm man. I'm trying to younger man. Trying to get bad broad man. Trying to get with her, you know, but. You know, the tune is my partner, he get out of jail, that's who she <laughs> He got his yeah. and she he ran right, right over there. And I'm, like, I'm, he come back. I'm trying to go to work. You know what I mean? It's real talk. I said, well, then, baby, I need to quit my job and go to jail. Man, man, you got these rocks, yeah? What Chris Rock say? One, two, five, six, I come up. Come on, man. That's what's up, man. But hey, man, we appreciate Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. We're going to hit y'all with another episode soon. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? But Common Ground is a theme. The African Union coming up is a theme, bro. Man, appreciate Brother Low Key, Young Pruitt, man, in the building. Yes, appreciate sir. you, appreciate Brother Clavin, man. Done deal, Verbal Peak Radio. We out. Right.